Okay, so I want you to understand how much Adobe Podcast has saved my project. I'm so grateful for it, honestly. So I recorded an intro video for my new class. And in general, I find recording intro videos stressful. You know, my face is showing. I can't always remember all the words. But anyway, so after filming a perfect take, which took me a long time, I realized that the audio was distorted and robot-y. It just didn't sound good. I filmed with a lapel mic, which is the one that you stick on your shirt. And I personally think that my condenser mic or my Blue Yeti or my Shure SM7B, which are the like podcasty mics, always sound better. Personally, that's what I think. And the lapel mic, the one that you stick on your person, is a bit hit and miss. And sometimes I only see later on <laughs> that, if, that it sounds bad. Or perhaps I don't know how to do the settings well yet. Anyway, I wasn't up for re-recording the intro video after filming a perfect take. I was also traveling and I really wanted to finish this project and produce my course as soon as possible before I travel. So I went to Adobe Podcasts and it just saved my audio. Legit. So all I did was I went to Adobe Podcast and guess what? It's free. And I went to Enhanced Speech. Now, just so you know, there is Enhanced Speech in Adobe Premiere Pro, which I have used. But this audio was so bad, it really needed saving desperately. And, and Enhanced Speech on Adobe Podcast is known. I've heard that it's known for saving audio and is the best. It's better, apparently, than the built-in Enhanced Speech in Adobe Pro, Premiere Pro. So... I had to try it. I was desperate. So I clicked on start enhancing. And I want to show you what my original audio sounded like. Here is my folder for my class AI and Adobe Express. Here is the original audio, the WAV files, and here are the edited, which we'll do in a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and play it. Welcome to the class. While I take you through the eight key AI tools in Adobe Express, I would love for you to choose your favorite AI tool and experiment and play. So my voice is very sharp and uh, very robot-y, very high. It hurts my ears. I'm very sensitive with sound and my own voice in this video, in this audio is just painful. It's just painful and robot-y and distorted and not even and there's background noise and I'm just not happy with it. So let's pop it in Adobe Podcasts, right? I could just click and drag and pop it here or I could click on choose files and then look for it. And it's going to load and it's all in this browser, which is beautiful. It's so great. I don't need to download anything. I don't need to sign up to anything. Although I am logged in, I can just use it. It's free. Files will be automatically deleted after 10 days. And I can just do it in here. There's also version one and version two, but I guess I'm going to use the latest version. I try always using the latest versions. So see, it's removing echo. It's doing all the things that we need, probably like removing echo, like equalizing the speech, perhaps probably removing the pop sounds, which is the put, you know, those sounds that I, I personally make a lot because of my accent. And um, over here, you can see original and enhanced and you can turn off or on pretty self-explanatory here you can see the full audio 6.10 and this is the default setting 90 percent and i think it was seven percent or was it ten percent can't remember what i like to do is play a bit with this adjust it and see what sounds better so i'll adjust it a bit and then i'll press play and perhaps I'll move it where I'm starting to talk. Welcome to the class, my friends. While I take you through the eight key AI tools in Adobe X. Ooh, I think I still sound a bit sharp, so I'm gonna 
amp it up a bit and let's see in adobe express i would love for you and that sounds already better and now i'm going to add less backgrounds because i still hear backgrounds your favorite ai tool and experiment with it or play with it and publish a class project for which you'll get personal feedback from me now a little heads up some of the ai tools might be still so that already sounds so much better it's insane or maybe it's just me <laughs> But I think try it out with your own audios and let me know if you also think it's insane. But I noticed that perhaps reducing the speech a little bit and increasing the background, meaning less background noise. And now play. Ask my friends while I take you through the eight key. Oh, there we go. That sounds so much better. I actually don't know if you can hear it because I have my headphones off, but uh, it sounds so much better. And I can't actually remember the exact settings that I use used for this. So if you want, you can always take a screenshot or make a little note to see which was your preferred setting, but it should be around this. Um, that's how it should look like a lot of speech and less background. And then all you have to do is click on download and it will download the enhanced speech of your web file or your audio. If you don't have a WAV file, this works as well with MP4s, MP3. So that's cool. Now I'm going to open it up. And here it is in my downloads, along with some of my Adobe Express files. And I can have a listen. AI tools in Adobe Express. I would love for you to choose your favorite AI tool and experiment with it or play with it and publish a class project. And that sounds so much better, considerably, considerably better. It's just an absolute game changer. I love it. It just makes me feel a bit less anxious about recording audio now because I know there's always a way to fix it. I still think that audio is always best when it's best recorded in the best environment, meaning I still think the optimal audio is if you made sure there's no echo in your room you have a good microphone you know you've made sure there's echo proof you're quite close to the microphone you speak quite well you have all the settings of your microphone and that's the optimal setting but if in case by chance you don't have that because you maybe you can't afford all the equipment or you just don't know where to start with buying equipment or you don't have it or you made a mistake you know when you're starting to learn recording it can be stressful and you don't always know where to place things and which wire and cables goes where and, you know, etc. So this is such a helpful tool, life-saving for me because I ended up creating a intro video that I was quite happy with. And so that was very useful. So check out Adobe Podcast and please let me know what you think of this. I would love to see if it helped you as well the way it definitely helped me. Mm -hmm.